And you're part of the uh, bipartisan American leaders on President Trump economic revival industry group to help create a future of American prosperity. But it's also been criticized that there have been there are too many white males. There's not enough uh, women involved. There's not enough, enough diversity. You know, it wasn't up to me to create really that council. I don't know who it was. They asked me to work with them. And, you know, I'm here to represent our industry, the restaurant industry, not among all the individual restaurant, restaurant owners. I have many young chefs who just opened a restaurant. Since I'm better known than most of them, so I thought I can do maybe a better job for that. Now, Naturally, I think we have to work on it on all because we had all this unrest, whatever. That's just the tip of the iceberg. America really has to change the way we conduct uh, business, the way the police operates, and so forth. So I think to be inclusive, to give everybody the same opportunities, and we don't have that. And it starts with education. And I think. For us, really, the most important thing would be if we could fix our education, I think it will help a lot of these communities where they don't have access to good schools, where they don't have access to good education. So they don't start out on the right foot when they are six years old. So it's very difficult for uh, a society to thrive as one. What can change, Wolfgang? We obviously saw the reaction to George Floyd's death and the protests, Black Lives Matter. And the president was criticized for dividing rather than unifying. What can he do? Well, really, I think we need a president who can unify the population. It's not us against them. And I think you see many of these right wing leaders, they try to be us against them, you know. So here, Trump has his big base in the Middle West, you know, in the center of America. It's them against the West Coast and the East Coast almost, you know. So it's very complicated. Instead of saying we are all in this together, we as a society, Republican uh, or Democrat, it doesn't really matter. And if they cannot work together in Congress or in the Senate, that really they reach across the aisle and make somehow a laws that are good for everybody, I think it's very difficult. And I think, unfortunately, our president here, and you know, he's the president of everybody, like him or not. But I think really he has not been able to do that. At the opposite, I mean, he's holding rallies with all his uh, white majority guys where he goes in and they all scream and say white power and things, stupid things like that. And you think, are we? In 2020, aren't people a little bit more educated? And I think a lot of these uneducated people really don't know what they're talking about. Do you think he will get re-elected in November, Wolfgang? I really think if it continues like that, he won't get re-elected. Not to say that Biden is the strongest candidate. We'll see who he's going to choose as a running mate. But I think to get the voters out, and we will see, it will be a test for the young people. Are they actually going to go out and vote? The last election, 100 million Americans didn't vote. So it's crazy when you think, uh, you know, they complain, but they don't go and vote. Going out is the most important thing, going out and vote. So I really tell everybody, don't complain if you don't go to vote. Wolfgang, what about within your own uh, empire, so to speak. How do you manage the diversion and inclusivity? And how do you feel with your employees and, and uh, your leadership? How do you become a role model for them? I really believe, you know, we are trying, but we still have a lot to do too. We actually uh, talked uh, and made a whole program with my son, uh, Byron, who went to hotel school to Cornell. And we wrote down actually how we're going to really be more inclusive, how we're going to attract people, you know, who are disadvantaged. They might not come to Beverly Hills or Bel Air or somewhere like that or in different places. So I think it's really how we're going to attract the people to feel comfortable to start to work with us. Now, 
we are a diverse family. You know, my wife is from Ethiopia, from Africa, and my son Oliver, where is he? Is here to say hello? We saw him briefly before. Hi, Oliver. <laughs> Oliver. Good to meet you. <laughs> So you can see we are a diverse family, but I think we always can do better. And we have to be more uh, cognizant and saying, how can we do better? You know, how yeah. can we include more people in management, not just in the kitchen as cooks or as busboys or whatever, but really groom them into becoming managers. And that way they go into their neighborhood maybe and can get uh, new blood.